Welcome to Utah. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantal, this is my basic journey. I live and travel in my minivan with my dog, Joey. Hey Joe, you wanna say hi to everybody? He's like, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> We're currently in Utah. I just got here yesterday. Uh, we went to the Valley of the Gods, which is a very beautiful, scenic, free place to camp. However, I did not have any service there. And in the middle of the night around 3.30, it started pouring. And then this morning, it looked like it was going to rain again, and I did not want to get stuck out there because there was a sign that said the roads are impassable when wet. So I decided just to leave this morning, and it was very beautiful. And for some reason, I don't know if it was because it was outside and it was kind of windy and it was sandy where I was at, that my camping stove decided to stop working this morning. And maybe that was like a main motivator of leaving because I could not make coffee and I was like having a panic attack about that. <sighs> so I need to go get a new camping stove. So I left the Valley of the Gods this morning and went north from there. We're in Blanding, Utah right now. There's a 7-Eleven that happens to have a laundromat attached to it. And they also help run the Blanding RV park, which is right across from it. And they even have showers, and it was only $5, unlimited time, hot water. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And so now I'm doing laundry and just kind of hanging out here. I think I'm actually going to stay here tonight, um, not at the RV park, because the guy inside of the gas station told me that I was free to park here if I wanted to for free because I don't have hookups or anything. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stay here <laughs> because... I don't know. I have to go up to Moab, which is another like a two hour drive from here. And I just, I don't feel like driving another two hours today. It's been kind of an eventful morning already, but we are going to go up to Moab tomorrow. Since it's been officially decided that I'm going to be sleeping here at the 7-Eleven in the parking lot, I need to go find something to eat. And luckily, Blanding, Utah has a burrito place that has a vegan burrito listed on the menu, which is just so exciting to me. So we're going to go pick up a burrito, come back here, and then I need to finish working on a video for you guys. 
it's supposed to go up tomorrow, so fingers crossed I get it done and uploaded and all that. Let's go get a burrito first, though, because I'm hungry. <laughs> someone super antsy to get out but we have made it this is where we're sleeping tonight five stars <laughs> I have two neighbors already yep <sighs> all right let's get this sleep ready Red rocks and get a new stove. Cool, me too. Look at how dirty this thing is. It's so full of sand, red clay. I did try it again just to see if it would work, but it did not, so they said they have a camping stove for me. So they did not have a butane stove. They had a bunch of different propane stoves. I'm just going to go to this other outdoor gear store that they have in Moab. It's called Gearheads. I did call them. They said that they have a ton of stoves to choose from, so I'm just going to check it out because I prefer butane. I don't know why. In fact, propane actually cooks better, but they only had a two burner. And while it would be nice to have a two burner stove, it just won't fit inside of the van as well. <laughs> so I have to keep that in mind because I can't have this huge stove because I have nowhere to store it. So fingers crossed they have a single burner butane stove here at this next place, Gearheads. Fingers crossed. They don't have a butane stove, you guys. And they have propane stoves, but no propane. So I got this guy, and you have to buy these stupid cans, but this will just hold me over till I can order another one from Amazon, I guess. Well, guys, we are headed to Arches National Park. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go there today uh, because it's already like in the afternoon, um, but they have some free camping past the park if they don't have any camping available at the park actual campground in Arches, which I have a feeling that it's going to be full, but that's okay because there is camping maybe 15 minutes outside of the park once you get to the top, so fingers crossed we find something. I don't know if fingers crossed works because it did not get me a stove. <laughs> All right, let's go to Arches. This place is so crazy. Wow. How freaking cool is this, Joey? We 
at all those mountains. Look at all these red rocks. This is so freaking cool. Oh my god, what is this? I feel like we're on a other planet. What the heck? This is so cool. Okay, so we ended up at this northern entrance of the Arches National Park. We drove through the whole thing. We didn't get to see much because I do have a dog, so he wasn't allowed on any of the hikes. The campground was full, so we came here, and uh, this is an eye overlander spot, just this open pit. I think we're just gonna keep going though because this is just not, this area is so beautiful. Why would I stay in this? So hopefully we can find something a little bit better. I'm already a little frustrated having to like navigate these roads. They're so washboarded. So hopefully we can make it somewhere safely. Oh my God, I'm not gonna lie you guys. That was the scariest drive that I've had in my minivan. <sighs> Oh, poor Joey over here is like, what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not going to lie, I'm like shaking. That ride was so scary. It was because there were parts of the road that had mud and like a couple feet deep of mud and water, but only in a short, like maybe 50 feet of the roadway. So I had to book it to go through it. Do not recommend you doing that. 
it was either that or turn around and go all the way back down that crazy washboard road. And I am so close to the highway now. Oh my God, never again. That was so scary. I can't wait for the day where I have a four-wheel drive vehicle because then I would not have been scared. Like my entire van is muddy. Let me show you guys. As you guys can see, Joey's side is not that bad. But the front, <laughs> oh my God. My Thule, it's all muddy. That happened all the way back <laughs> oh my god okay we really just need a car wash but this will have to do for now at least for the windshield <laughs> oh my gosh well I got my little new stove to work I feel like it's gonna take forever to get that to a boil, but it's okay. We just need it to be warm enough to do dishes. So I'm not a huge fan of this little stove. I want my old stove back. I'm a little sad. I think I'm gonna have to order one from Amazon. It's very pretty out here though. Got some snow-capped mountains back there. Well, my water finally got hot enough to do my dishes, and then I had a little friend come and join me. You little jumping spider. Hey, bud. Good morning, Joe. I'm gonna go outside and make some coffee. <laughs> All right, someone else is ready, huh? You guys hear that whistle? This thing takes forever to boil water and I only put enough in for like my one cup. So I can't wait to have another stove. I was able to, you know, brush my hair and get ready and change my clothes. I'm not used to having to wait this long for coffee in the morning. I guess it's better than the day I didn't have coffee because my stove was broken, so it's cool just takes a real long time and it's cold you guys see my breath <sighs> I'm 
might as well get my solar panel set up while I have the time. We're at like 30%, so I wasn't too worried about it. 29. But since we have so much time on our hands, Well, you guys, <laughs> my Utah adventures have been quite adventurous, to say the least. Uh, that was definitely my biggest national park fail that I've had ever. I mean, I didn't see anything of it, really, but that's okay. I like the spot that I ended up in. In fact, I'm going to stay here for a couple more days and just chill. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I'll put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you want to check that out and help support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!